everyone. Welcome to Dear Run Home, my first ever YouTube video. <laughs> um, I've thought about starting a YouTube channel for years now, and I never did it for a few reasons, and I'll talk about those in a few minutes. But after the year that we just had, I mean, nobody really wants to talk about 2020 anymore, but it can teach you some things. And what it taught me was that whether or not you're doing what you want to do, time marches on. So there's no better time like the present to dip your feet into something new and put yourself out there. So here I am starting my YouTube channel. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Breton. I live in New England. I'm a homemaker and a homeschooling mom of two. Um, homemaking has been something that at a younger age I didn't think I would ever do but it is the most fulfilling part of my life. Um, I have been a homemaker for the better part of 10 years. I've done little things where I started working at the public school my kids work, went to, um, but I always felt drawn back home. And so I've been home for, well, two years now, full time, not doing anything else. And I've really come into myself and who I am a lot more and just really dug my feet into it. So I definitely want to share that story here and my testimony on that here. And I plan to do that. So that's one thing that you can expect from this channel is homemaking, homemakers tips, tricks, my cleaning, um, cooking. Years ago when I thought about starting my YouTube channel, I was really worried because I wanted to do a cooking YouTube channel because it's, I love to cook. I'm not a great baker, but I love to cook. And I didn't want to pigeonhole myself into just one aspect of um, sharing. And so I stood on it a little bit more and I think I've come now to the perfect kind of mix of everything I want to share. Um, like I said, I homeschool. We had decided to homeschool back last or the, the winter of 2019 um, for our 10 year old son for sure almost 10 year old son for sure and when COVID hit it just sort of felt like the perfect time and I know that there's so many homeschooling families now that used COVID as a uh, jumping point and are now committed to homeschooling long term and that is the case for us as well so we brought our um, rising sixth grader and our rising third grader last year home and now we are finishing our first full year of homeschooling in the next couple weeks here. Um, we have fallen in love with it. Just like homemaking, homeschooling just seems to fit. Seems to fit our family, seems to fit our schedule, our desires, what we want our kids to be learning, how we want our kids to be learning. Um, and there was nothing wrong with our public school but they just weren't going to allow our kids to learn, especially with COVID, the way that we thought our kids should learn. So long story short, another video for another time. We are a homeschooling family. So my family, um, my husband Scott and I have been married for 12 years um, together for 15 and um, best friends, first of all. He is a carpenter and works his tuchus off to provide for us um, and to allow me to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, we have two children. We have a daughter, Riley, who just turned 12, and a son, Ryan, who will be 10 this summer. Um, and we are homebodies. <laughs> so we are always kind of around the home, doing things around the home. Um, but you'll see a lot of that around here just us hanging out and doing whatever we're doing those days. Um, so what what can you see? Well, I've already talked about it. I wanted to show homemaking and the way I do homemaking. Um, I love watching people's different perspectives on how they homeschool and do homemaking chores and how their family functions. So that's sort of what I'm gonna bring to you. I'm gonna bring you recipes. I'm gonna bring you organization stuff. I'm gonna bring you cleaning hacks. 
um, I'm going to bring you lots of homeschooling, days in our life, what that looks like from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. What does it look like? What types of food do we eat every week? Um, just a deep dive sort of into our life, our crazy life. So I hope you guys will stick around. Hit that like button if you liked this little introduction video. Give me some um, comments on you know, what you're looking forward to seeing from me. And lastly, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. And I hope that you guys stick around to watch our journey of YouTube unfold. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon.